Alright guys, um, as most of you have seen my videos, they're very unscripted and whatnot, so, um, this is the Supreme Teams, um, I mean it's a really good build, it has all the components and some optimization, all the stuff you'd really want, uh, I'm just going to turn this just a little bit, there we go, um, I've been just wanting to test pretty much everything on here, so I have just been dumping on. Uh, I guess the big thing is you'd be surprised how fast you can fill up two terabytes. So, uh, before I jump in here, this is an eight gigabyte model, and then I have the NVMe adapter with the ribbon cable on the bottom. So there's a an, a two terabyte um, a two terabyte NVMe, uh, you know, very fast hard drive. And let's get that back. I almost dropped it. Um, so. Um, as you can see here, I have been pretty much, you know, playing with everything. Um, there's, uh, it, it's great. It, I've just been dumping stuff on it and trying pretty much everything. Um, this is the one thing I had to fix. Um, these were loading with like, um, let me just click on one. And um, they were loading with, I think, uh, Final, Burn, Final Burn Neo, or at least trying to. And it would load like sort of part of the game. See here, I'm gonna cancel. But um, this FB Neo, the Final Burn Neo, was it should work, but it was not. So I went in and did the uh, the free CHAF, um, which is basically the legit emulator for um, these particular games. Um, and so once I did that, though, it works great. Um, all these games were great. There's Pac-Man. This is what I tried, and I'll show it to you real quick. Um, the cool thing about the Supreme Team is that they made, uh, they put all these splash screens, so it's got a loading screen for pretty much all of them. Um, it does a great job, though. Um, let's see if I can probably turn up some volume here. Nothing too crazy. Let's see. If I want the button, there we go. Alright, so. I'm sure some of you like what in the world. But. This is old school gaming right here. <laughs> you can get Pac Man at home. So, anyway, hit start and select. Brings back to me. So, anyway, I fixed that one. Um, I recommend if anybody gets a Supreme build and you're having issues with this, just go into the um, options, go into the RetroPie, set up and manage your, you know, uh, package, uh, packages, and then you know, install that, and easy enough from there. Anyway, all this stuff works. I went through each and everything. Now, there's 269 games, but there's sure a whole lot more I'd love to add in there. Um, I just ran out of space on the 2 terabyte. Um, these are fun. If you haven't played these, I was playing the Donkey Kong. Uh, it was really cool. Um, GameCube. Now this is where um, I, I just I'm I'm so happy on how well you know this um, the Dolphin emulator works on here, and with GameCube games they're really good. Now th there might be a few that have some stutters like you know F Zero or whatever, but um, only on the fire stage. But otherwise it runs pretty good. You know, 55 frames per second on on the um, so, um, there's this, I'll show you that in a bit. Um, as you can see, all these systems and everything is working. Um, in here, I tried to install Heretic port, uh, through the menu of the, of the Supreme build, but it didn't work. It just didn't do anything. Uh, Fallout 2, regular Fallout, none of those worked. Uh, um, it's just these four, uh, three, I think. I did no StarCraft. I did that one too, and it doesn't work. It doesn't. Even, it comes up with an error. It says it installed, but whatever. PS2. So now that we're here, I'm gonna go down to the S's. Um, I'm looking for his username. I think it's um, Hawks3992. Left a message, and he wanted to see how this particular game right here ran. I assure you, it. Uh, I did no modifications. To Silent Hill 3, um, but it completely plays um, 
just like it would normally on the console. I, I didn't see any jittering, no pausing, um, nothing like that. So, up, uh, you can't really see, but up at the top right hand, it's going between 59 and 62 frames per second. But obviously, there's not a whole lot on the screen yet. Um, let me move the cursor out of the way. I might, uh, you know, cut out this uh, section here because I can still see it loading because the uh, frames per second are changing a little bit. Memory card, yes, it's save. Okay. Um, I don't remember if I made a save. Oh, this. Parts of the game might be violent. Good kid, no kidding. I'd say for the most part, people know what they're playing if they're getting Silent Hill. Intro videos, everything plays. Just fine, I really did. Oh, I just made a liar out of me. Anyway, so anyway, but I mean, we know this carefully. I want to see if I have a load in here. Nope. I don't think so. New game, easy, normal. I don't know how much, uh, I'm going to try to skip through this, this is kind of show you how, um, how it moves around and everything. I think that's really what most people are concerned about, is how does it play in the game itself. This is where she's first walking in. I'm going to hit the start button to kind of skip this, okay? So here she is looking around. Walking around. Oh, I'm trying to, trying to get my controls here. There we go. See, there's a. Oh. Whoa. Let's turn around and get over here. Um, there was a button here somewhere. It got her to run. Oh, it turned off the light. It must be her knife. Where I had to go. Do you remember where I went? Or... Oh, maybe this is this door right here. here we go. There we go. This is the scary part. But also, give you an idea when these dogs attack. Oh, shit. Oh. So, anyway, I mean. I'm not very good at the game, plus I don't really know really good those controls are. Alright, so I'm hitting pause. Oh, it took me back out. Okay, cool. So I'm going to hit escape on the keyboard. This is the only thing about, I'm not sure if we got a hotkey and close. I'm using the key, I'm using the controller after this, but to, um, to bring up the menu, I have to hit escape key, escape key on the keyboard. Alright, so that runs completely 100% playable. Um, I've tested out about, um, I got 69 games in there, so, um, there's probably 68 games in there, because there's a, a con configuration menu here, but, like, a bunch of these games, some of these games do not play, um, Tekken 5 plays amazing, Tokyo Racing plays at about 45 frames per second, anyway, so, um, all this other stuff works amazing, um, there is this menu that doesn't show if it's called Super, um, but these games run amazing. Fred Fires 3, soccer game, Fighting Vipers, if you guys remember that, I love, it was super fun. Um, you know, not lots of uh, the Vetrix games. The hardest one, in case you guys want to try, Star Castle. That game is so hard. Uh, Wii games. Tons of Wii games. Wii is hit or miss. Some of them play perfect, some of them have struggle, you know, it just depends on 
I guess like what the distance level of the video game, like how much three dimensions there is, stuff like that. But um, Wonder Swan, um, probably some game systems here you've never seen before. This one I played for a little while, kind of got stuck on it, but it's fun. It's just you just gotta love stuff like this. Uh, back to 3DO, I tested a bunch of these games. They all 100%. Um, I didn't, I don't know, passed it somewhere, but Sega Saturn is in here, and it's got like I just copied a boatload of games over. Uh, hmm. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, 183 games, and just um, they finally really play 100%. So let's film more. All right. So, what I'm going to do is quit Emulation Station, grab my keyboard here, and I'm in the in the ports menu at the moment. So, I'm going to say just dot slash um, KD and tab and take to the K KDM. Um, yeah. So, there's a couple things I'd like to add in um, to the menu system, but you know. There are some things that require the desktop to really run um, in the RetroPie menu. Some things I can get in the menu and sometimes I'm kind of trying to work on. So one of the things I've been um, trying to get is Mugen games. Um, the games, I'll show you real quick. Oh, I got up here. Um, they actually run in here. If I say install, you guys are going to laugh when I show you that later, but, um, and then MG, and then there's a bunch of games in here, but, um, I know a couple that work, you know, especially good, like Mortal Kombat 3. So I just like this and say EXE, and then, so the hard part is, is figuring out what the syntax is that I need, um, to load the game through the RetroPie menu, but if this is um, Wine64 along with um, Box64, so I'm pretty sure it seems like I might need to have RetroPie run in here, which it does. If I type in console and I type emulation state, whoops, I put an L in there, but it still worked. You know, it takes me in here. Um, Everything is great, and it works just the same. It's fast and whatnot. So, um, what it is is I'm gonna go over here to Mugen. I've been trying to get. Um, I tried some SH files first, but if you saw, I just was in uh, the Mortal Kombat 3 Mugen, right? Here, I think. Yeah. And so one of these is yeah, the executable. So if I click executable. It goes out, you can see it trying to load, and then I get like a configuration error. But if I try the exact same command in the menu um, out here, then it works just fine. So if I, um, so anybody knows exactly what configuration, like I edited the es underscore config, um, systems config file, I put one in there for it to list it, um, and some other things. Anyway. Uh, RetroPie slash ROMs, new good, um, and then CD Mortal Kombat 3 MU. Alright, so when I'm in here, if I just type Wine and then capital M, it puts the EXE. And what I'm trying to do is get the RetroPie to do this very thing. Just want to use the Wine as the execute, and I will show you this if you want. Escape and quit. So I'm trying to implement that. So on top of that, um, I also have um, the Yuzu emulator. 
and I got some games, but you know, um, I need to figure out what games load because none of the I put the older Final Fantasy one, two, and three in here, and then Hollow Knight. Um, none of those seem to load. I think somebody had a Cuphead, so I'm gonna have to work on that. But I'd also like to implement this into the Retro Pie menu for Spring. So, I mean, they'd be better at it than me. It's just things I'm trying here. Um, and then lastly. First of all, I'd like to have some more games because Diablo 2 didn't install right, uh, Fallout 2 didn't install right, um, the XMU Xbox emulator, I'd like to get it, but it has some this error here which says OpenGL error and supposedly you can get past it somehow, um, but I can't figure that out yet, so anyway, that's some of the things I... Um, you know, I'm working on, uh, like I said, I got the, um, oh, and the last thing I'll show you is that over here, um, under splash screens, I copied over the CMU, which is the Wii U emulator, and it does load, and it's actually kind of snappy, it loads fast, all the menu works, it's just that it doesn't find the OpenGL that I need. If I say start this game, it just says there's a oh, Vulcan renderer, uh, cannot create a Win32 Vulcan surface, whatever error that is. I think there's a good chance that that might actually work. I don't know how good they'll play, but it sure be fun to try. Especially since there's no, I don't think there's, well I know for a fact there's no Wii U emulator that works on an ARM64 based uh, processor. So, Alright, that's all I got. Thanks guys.